Hi, Virgo. This is a general reading for the collective of Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Welcome, Cross Watchers. And for those of you who are brand new to the channel, happy you landed here. So before I get started, um, allow me to explain. I am uh, in the direct path of Hurricane Milton. I have had to evacuate uh, with my daughter and her boyfriend. They're in another room. And we are in a safe place. But as you can see, I'm in a hotel. Um, and little Leo, right there, is lounging as I read for you. Uh, I'm looking a little jaundiced because I can't figure out the lighting. I can't get it any better than this. So, pardon moi. <laughs> and unfortunately for this reading, you will not be able to see the cards on the table. Um, just couldn't haul all my normal setup. Um, I am also using the Mac audio um, because I didn't bring the microphone. I know it's not great. Please don't come in the comments and tell me that the audio sucks because hurricane, doing the best I can. You're getting a reading. Turn up your volume. It's the best I can do. Okay, so um, I'm pulling from Gateway of Light Activation Oracle to kick off this reading. Let's see what your message is. Oh my God. You get the same thing. I want to say Aries got Toth Light Codes, Light Initiation, Great Teacher Awakening, Divine Magic. Yeah, everything is going to be a little close, so I'm going to have to work with it for um, purposes of like this is going to be too blurry, right? Um, yeah, light initiation, great teacher awakening. This is Saturn. Uh, it's got some Saturn themes, right? Um, great teacher awakening and divine magic, light initiation. Hmm. Okay, Virgo, we can work with that. So what I'm going to do is pull the spread, uh, give you my general impressions. We'll get the details from the clarifiers. We just moved past um, the Grand Water Trine. And that Grand Water Trine, uh, meaning all three water signs, were in like a triangle. And so we were in the deep fields. And that sort of ended on the 8th. As I record this, it is now the 9th. Um, and there's, you know, still some bumpy energy, but when we close out the month, it should, everything should sort of level out. If you missed it, I did the October 2024 Love Tarot monthly energy update. Please watch it because I take the month, I do the tarot spread, and I take the month week by week astrologically. So you too can sort of follow along and go, oh, that's why this is happening. Yeah, it's helpful. Um, oops, look at that. Pulled a couple cards upside down and look what they were. Make a note. Putting them back in because it was just sloppy shuffling on my part because I'm trying to focus on you, shuffle, and adjust to new situation here. Um, yeah, so I just wanted to let you know if you're going through some bumps right now um, in your connection or in separation of some sort, things look to be leveling out um, by the end of the month. We'll also be in Scorpio season at that time, right? Okay, so let me pull the spread and we'll move through it together, Virgo. We'll move through it together, Virgo. Yeah. And at this point, it makes so much sense, Toth Light Code's great uh, light initiation, great teacher awakening. The hermit is a teacher too. The hermit is the guide. Don't they sort of look similar? Uh, yeah, I'm rethinking the whole Saturn thing. I'm thinking the guide. I'm thinking the hermit. Hmm. All right. I, I just felt it. Did you? And what's crossing us? Yeah, so some kind of divine magic here, uh, initiation, light initiation. We're in some sort of challenge with regard to this love of a lifetime. Um, possibly going within to better understand ourselves and our own motivations. What makes us tick? 
because we may not be able to understand what this is all about unless or until we understand ourselves first. There is magic in them words, right? So at the root of the situation here, <laughs> right? Our intuition, our inner knowing, our connection to the divine and how we struggle with that. Yeah. And sometimes these two are like the, the brother-sister duo, right? Because this is so earthbound and this is not. This is spiritual. And I mean, not that the hermit isn't, but the hermit is in a much more earthbound way. So at the root of the problem here is, what's our gut check? What is our intuition telling us about who we are in this situation um, and what this is all about and why it is so either problematic or why it eludes us or why it has been challenging mm. in the past judgment. So judgment talks to us about second chances, forgiveness, um, answering the call. And that may be what this challenge is about. Are they not answering the call? Are we not answering the call? It's a card of reunion. And our conscious awareness, eight of pentacles. So at least we're focused on it. Um, you know, the eight of pentacles to me is about um, focusing on creative solutions to a problem. Something like, is this, is this workable? Can we work through it? Near future, themes of commitment, the vows we make and take. Um, it is a card also of the higher self. So I think as we move through this, we're getting to like, what, what are we meant for in this connection? Are we able to work towards something um, more evolved, more committed, more conventional here on this earthly plane? What's our intuition telling us? Are we accessing it properly? Do we know like we know that it's meant to be that? Are we answering the call? Are we Are we open to for forgiveness and second chances? Here we go, Virgo. Now remember, it's a general reading. It's not a private reading. So, it, you know, may not speak to everybody. You got to take it as it resonates for you. Uh, I do offer private readings. There's always a link below every vi video that will take you to that booking page. Okay, that's the first thing. The second thing here is, you know, um, all the energies can be reversed. And what that means to say is I can be talking directly to a cross watcher here. It could be your energy. Okay, so keep that in mind. Here we go. Yes, this connection eludes you. You're choosing it. Is it choosing you? Um, very stuck something something someone it, it there's a walking away here and then now what do we do now what do we do and so i'm not so sure there's been a full retreat but maybe just a i gotta sort this out for myself i gotta figure out what this is for me what this is about even if you're not the Virgo, that hermit can still be your energy. So please understand the lover's card from the bottom of the deck. When I'm pulling from the bottom of the deck, for those of you who are new, I'm tapping in to either unconscious awareness or something playing out behind the scenes. Either way, you can't see it. So we're looking at the lover's card as a card of choice. It's the sacred bond, the sacred connection. Um, but it's a choice. And in human interaction, as souls having a human experience, that's the part 
that's born out of free will. So there's something here that has us feeling restricted, limited, second guessing ourselves. Is this really it? Should I keep moving forward, keep moving on? Why does what I choose keep walking away? These are the questions you could be pondering that have you stuck. And so the hermit, introspection, self-awareness, taking a radical self-inventory. Because you can't get the answers for the other person. You can only get the answers for yourself. Somebody needs to have a notepad out. There are going to be a lot of Laura-isms for this reading. Because at the root of the situation, your intuition is telling you, no, this is, we are past life soulmates. I know this to be true. So where's this resistance coming from? What, where's it coming from? We should, we should be far ahead of this by now. We should be far ahead. We should, we should have, this should have been a done deal. Signed, sealed, delivered a long time ago. Where's this resistance coming from? Chariot is progress, right? Victory, triumph. This is stopping it. And there's something here that you're saying, no, I, where's the resistance coming from? So that's the root of the problem or in your unconscious awareness that's creating that eight of swords. Judgment in the past. Three of cups, hermit again. Five of Pentacles. Okay. And the plot thickens. For some of you, that Three of Cups could be third party, requiring forgiveness for a third party scenario, might have sent you off the grid. You know, you might have retreated, become reclusive, and you may have internalized a lot of that, feeling devalued, and then internalizing it, right? Um, taking a hit to your own self-esteem and sense of self-worth and value. For some of you, it's hard to forgive that. For others of you, the Three of Cups is also a card of reconciliation and a cause for celebration that didn't come. Waiting for that reunion, waiting for that second chance. Eagerly open to forgiveness, but it didn't come. And so there's the rejection and the sense of abandonment, and now you're exploring it. And so in that case, Virgo is just Virgo, meaning the hermit is just Virgo energy. Eight of Pentacles in your conscious awareness. Love me a Virgo reading. I am a Virgo, just so you know, so I'm like, yes. Right, there's more Virgo, Nine of Pentacles. There's Virgo saying, I, like, I, I want my wish to come true. I, I, I'm all into the keeping the dream alive. I got hope. I'm willing to work on this. And I fully anticipate that my wish will be granted, that my dream will come true. I believe. I believe that the universe has my back. So there's the optimism. It's in there. It's in there. You've come to this reading saying, and I, I, I will, I will look at myself. I, I will, you know, check myself. Because there's something telling me this. We, we were meant to be in this incarnation and meet at this time and, and be together. And there's something happening here that I, that, that I don't understand. 
And so I love this because there's wisdom here. You're coming into this reading very wise. Hierophant in the near future. Queen of Cups. Page of Pentacles. Hanged Man. So you'll have to approach it, though, with an open heart. Um, and be willing to kind of step into it as if you're approaching a whole new situation. It's a baby step, one step at a time kind of situation. And that's preferred because with the hanged man from the bottom of the deck, it's more of a perspective, right? Like taking the 30,000 foot view, making sure you're looking at it with fresh eyes because there's been this weird resistance, the reunion that never came, um, or if it did, it was, it was lacking something. And so you, whoever you are watching, you're open to working on this, but you're in an, you're in an assessment, like evaluative, you're looking at this. So you need a, a pers fresh perspective. It begins with an open heart, but also, a beginner's mind and that's what the new the, you know the near future holds is this e even commitment material yeah and being open um, the Queen of Cups is compassionate sensitive sure um, also highly intuitive on an emotional level you know, what are your feelings going to tell you about it, Virgo, or whoever you are watching? And the Page of Pentacles has so much to learn, right? Great teacher awakening. There's awakening here. That, that hermit then kind of morphs back into this little page. The teacher becomes the student again. And yet, doesn't go crazy. Right? We don't have the fool here. We have the hanged man that says, all right, now I'm going to look again and reassess the situation from a safe vantage point. Mm -hmm. So that's what I have for this part of the reading. I am certainly going to take a look in the extended um, for whoever this is that you're dealing with. I'm not getting a strong vibe. I'm not. Usually I do and I can point right to it. I'm not getting a strong vibe on who this is. Um, but we'll, we'll go into the extended and we'll see whoever it is for you, how they're showing up, what their take is on this connection. Um, it could be somebody you've been in separation from for a while, and that may be why I'm not getting a strong energy connection. But I will in the extended, and we'll see how they're, you know, seeing you, thinking about you, feeling about you kind of a thing, and their intentions um toward this connection so that's what we're going to do in the link to that is below option one is more of a monthly renewal for for the sign of virgo and option two is the extended for this only option three as always is the all access pass to everything i do um, so there's that and i'm going to give you the astrology for this in a second but please let me say um, thanks for watching and if you haven't already i ask that you subscribe below that is the only way I can stay here on this platform. This is all I do to support myself. Um, I kind of went on a little rant with Leo for yesterday's reading, so I'm, I'm going to spare you that, Virgo, because you're one of my solid signs. Leo is too, but they can take it. Um, Virgo, I don't want to leave you crying. But yeah, I'm feeling like I may have to make a drastic change for this channel so that I can grow it. Um, and one of my thoughts is I just may have to only go with doing readings for the signs that watch and that sub have subscribed and that watch like 2,000, 3,000 views a time. And that's Leo, Virgo, and Pisces and everyone else. I, I don't know what else to do. If you have suggestions, let me know. But I'm kind of fresh out of ideas for how to grow this channel fast 
and some some other people have told me maybe you need to specialize and just boilerplate it down to the few signs that you know give a damn about your channel so I'm letting you know some changes may be coming um, but in the meantime thank you Virgo for being there for me <laughs> when I've sort of been in the lurch and in the breach and for tolerating um, the changes here during this very very stressful time as I ride between two hurricanes literally it's been a nightmare but I love you all so here we go hermit is Virgo lovers is Gemini we have the high priestess is actually the moon and the moon rules cancer who knew um, we've got the chariot is Cancerian energy I used to always say Pisces but I have been corrected judgment is Scorpio uh, judgment is Pluto which rules Scorpio we had the hermit a second time Virgo nine of Pentacles is Virgo the star card is Aquarius we have the Hierophant is Taurus Queen of Cups is Cancerian energy page of Pentacles Taurus Virgo Capricorn hanged man is Neptune which rules Pisces so that's what I've got um, I am headed to the extended the links are below I'll see you there in a second love you much Virgo and check out the community tab I've been sending pictures and updates of my travels with uh, you know Laura and Leo during Hurricane Milton love you much bye for now